All right, so let's kick this off. So uh, pretty much I'm lift I'm using this uh, lifting beam here so I don't have to, you know, carry these four by eight sheets over my plasma table, you know, by hand. Um, you can see here, I drew it up real quick um, and pretty much cut it out with just some scrap material that I had uh, on my arc lights dynamic table, plasma table at least. Um, these are the sides um, that I'm cutting out right now. Uh, here I grabbed some, I want to say this is a four inch wide by three eighths uh, flat bar. Uh, you can see I'm uh, going to be marking out the holes, all the, it, all the different holes and they're spaced about four inches on centered. Um, these holes are going to be where I um, use the shackles to connect my two lifting magnets to. So, and I, I probably could have cut this out, these holes on the plasma table. Um, but, you know, as you know, with plasma cutting holes that are under inch or half an inch, um, they're slightly beveled a little bit. So I wanted nice clean through holes for the, uh, the shackle pin to sit on. So I decided to use my mag drill and uh, drill those holes out. And there weren't many holes, uh, but you know, the mag drill did, did the job. But you can see um, that this one has, has the uh, cutting fluid lubricant feed, or feed, I guess you want to call it. Um, and that works really well to to maintain your uh, or to keep the uh, the anime colors cool and uh, lasting longer. And then next, I just jigged it all up. Um, tacked it in place and I'm gonna completely weld this thing in. Wasn't sure if that was completely necessary, but you know, I, I figured why not, it wasn't too long. Uh, I wanna say this whole beam length was about uh, four feet wide um, and that should be a good enough length for a four by eight sheet of steel. Here I'm just uh, welding it all up. Probably could have popped open the uh, garage door and let all the fumes out, but uh, you know, just welding as I go. And the uh, the top plate that's on top of the 3H plate, um, I believe that is a quarter inch thick uh, flat bar as well. Here I'm using this like D-ring. Um, this is a non-lifting one, but it's rated for like, I wanna say like 2000 pounds non-lifting and um, you know, the steel that I'm gonna be lifting max is probably gonna be like, you know, 700 pounds. And so I figured that this D-ring is should be fine for what I need and I seen them on other builds. So I, I figured, you know, why not use this D-ring and weld it in um, it, the, the D-ring itself. I, I wanna say it's like, uh, Five eighths thick, so that should be plenty um, for what I need at least. Here I'm adding the uh, the uh, 600 pounds um, magnetic uh, lifting clamps, or you want to call them. Uh, they're pretty affordable, so um, and they're rated at 600 pounds each, so max. Uh, So you can see I'm just using a uh, engine hoist or a cherry picker. Um, this one's rated at uh, two tons, but that's kind of what I'm using to, to lift this uh, lifting crane, I guess. And yeah, it's low, but I don't I don't commercially or you know load sheets every day. And, you know, I just do it once in a while. So this setup it works works pretty good. I'm just connecting it on right now, kind of seeing how it's gonna work. And uh, to me, it looks pretty well balanced. You know, I was pretty happy that I was able to uh, 
you know, lay the welds down to where it is balanced on both sides was which I was aiming to do. So I'm pretty happy that this is a uh, well balanced, as you can see on the uh, me lifting it on the cherry picker. And then next, um, I had some uh, four by eight sheets um, kind of stored on the side because I couldn't lift them. So now that I have this lifting beam, uh, it's gonna help out a lot. I just, you see, I'm just clearing it all out, piled a bunch of crap on it. Uh, this is a uh, hot rope and pickled oil sheet. It's pretty much hot roll sheet that has no mill scale. So I, I prefer this sheet when I'm cutting you know, it on the plasma. Just, I think it provides a cleaner cut than the uh, the regular hot rolled, you know, stuff with the mill scale when it comes to sheet release. Okay, next is, uh, you know, I think one key thing to having this system work well is to do your best to try to get the lifting beam centered to your um, your 4x8 sheet. Um, that's just going to help it from like being tippy, you know, to one side or the other. So you can see I'm just kind of taking some quick measurements and kind of adjusting as I go. Um, I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but uh, I got it close enough. And then um, I, locked, I locked it in. This has like a lever, you push lever, lever thing and it locks in. And I believe right now I'm lifting uh, eighth inch or 11 gauge um, steel sheet, four by eight sheet. So this wasn't too heavy, um, but it worked out. It worked, uh, it was just a, a way for me to, I guess, break in the, uh, the lifting beam. And you can see I'm just checking to make sure like, you know, anything like this thin or thinner, like let's say 16 gauge, I'm just making sure that the, uh, the sheet doesn't peel away or peel away from the, uh, the uh, lifting magnet at the base. So you can see right there, it looks, looks like it's, it's making a good contact or connection. And then now I'm gonna have to <laughs> try to navigate this in my garage. Um, it's a little tricky just because this is an older home garage and you can see those two posts that I have and those those bug the crap out of me. You know, it's just older homes are, you know, have these support posts. Um, they just need to be there. I'm um, just trying to make sure I don't, you know, bump into it. And then next, uh, you can see um, I got to clear everything so that I can, I'm able to maneuver this around to the table. Um, this is some old footage, but right now, as, as of today or, or as of me speaking, um, I actually have moving carts right underneath my cabinets up here. And um, I'm able to move those really easily. So if I need to load up four by eight sheets, it's, it's not that much work as far as, you know, moving everything to clear the path and you can see with this table it has this, like the CNC plasma table it has these like two support beams in the center which I can't stand um, it's just, I feel like it's a, a really a waste of, uh, space. You can utilize that better. And I do plan on doing something where I plan on making a, uh, four by eight sheet, uh, under storage rack and then bracing it and then using that to brace the center of the table. So, um, you know, it doesn't sag. It doesn't sag right now. I actually took one of those posts off and it doesn't sag at all, but, um, I plan on doing, making a, like a, like I said, a four by eight, um, storage rack and then bracing that and using that to brace the table and then uh this is kind of me shimming it over you can see on my plasma table i actually have these like alignment posts i, I use that to kind of get the sheet squared 
And then, uh, so that was eighth inch steel. So now this is, uh, this is uh, quarter inch steel. So a lot heavier. Yeah, I know I can retrofit this uh, cherry picker out and put like an electric winch and I plan on doing so, but I don't, like I said, I don't load four by sheets every single day. This is just a really, you know, cut dry way to, to lift sheets up um, quickly. And if you're on a budget, this works out really well. And yeah, you can see it lifts up the, uh, the quarter inch, no problem. I mean, it really makes it easier. I mean, I don't even know how I would do this by hand. I mean, it's just a backbreaker. Even like half a sheet of quarter inch is, is, is pretty difficult for me at least. Um, but yeah, you know, one day I'll have a forklift and be like you cool guys and, and do all the cool things, but eventually I'll get there. All right, so now that I got this over the table, um, release the lever that releases the, um, the lifting magnet. You can see I'm, I'm maxed out um, on how far I can bring this, this uh, sheet over center, but it's, it's pretty close. Um, it works out pretty well. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I, I lift four by eight sheets. And here's me just uh, storing the, uh, folding the legs off the cherry picker and putting everything away. You can see that the length of this lifting beam is a perfect length. that's it guys uh, I hope you guys learned something new if you guys did uh, make sure you hit that like button subscribe for stuff like this um, this was more of a, a cut and dry uh, edit I uh, just wanted to kind of get it out there and just kind of show you my process and my thought process on how I tackle this job and so far to this day it works out great I don't use it every day but when I do need it it uh, definitely comes in handy uh, anyways uh, I, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one Later.